Well, hello. Why don't you both come in and take a seat? Yes, get comfortable. What a really, really wonderful looking couple. Well, you, not so much. But you, you are very, very good looking. Wow. What nice hair. Do you mind if I, oh, <laughs> sorry, of course. This is a counseling session. It's not a time to be feeling your hair or your super smooth skin. Wow. How do you get your skin so smooth? <laughs> Ma'am, please, there's no need to get upset. Why don't we start over, okay? I'm Melissa, and I'll be your marriage counselor today. What's that? Oh, your old marriage counselor? Yeah, unfortunately, they got into something of an accident. It was just an accident, I swear. I had nothing to do with it. But um, they find themselves indisposed, and I was very happy to fill in. Now, I know it might feel a little weird having a brand new counselor just stepping into your vast, vast marital problems. I can see where the problem is, if I may say so myself. Excuse me? No, no, I wasn't, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to your husband. Wow, how do you, how do you put up with that? Am I right? <laughs> Quiet down, please. Anyway, where was I? So um, I do have all the notes from your previous sessions, and I've studied them very, very closely. Mm-hmm. So um, I should definitely be able to take over. What's that? What happened exactly to your old counselor? Um, you know, I don't know that I'm at liberty to say what happened to them. It's a scary world out there. And you should just be very, very careful not to get in someone's way. Otherwise, something terrible could happen to you. Oh, no, no, I'm not threatening your wife. Of course not. I'm just saying, it's a crazy world, and we all have to be safe, don't we? Of course. So let's get this counseling session underway. So you two have been married for six years. That's great. I've never had a relationship last six years personally. Um, well... I have, but according to the other person, there was never a relationship to start with. So, I mean, it's kind of hard. Like, where do you average it out? I could have been following someone for 10 years and thinking that we're madly in love and ready to walk down the aisle. And then it turns out they don't even know my name. Can you believe that? Crazy. Crazy. But we shouldn't use the crazy word here, right? <laughs> Unless we're talking about your crazy wife. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know what you keep getting upset about. As a counselor, I'm going to have my time with you. Right now, I'm having time with your husband, your very handsome husband. What beautiful features you have. Oh, yes, I forgot. Counseling is a no-touch zone. Let's move on. So, six years together, and you've been in counseling now for three months. Is that correct? Great. Um, it looks like what we're dealing with here is a lot of communication issues. Um, from what I gather, it seems you don't really talk to your husband. You don't appreciate him enough. Is that true, sir? Not exactly. It's a two-way street. That is so generous of you. But from where I'm looking, I don't think you have any faults at all. I think you're the ideal partner. And anyone would be so lucky to be with you. It's a shame your wife isn't more appreciative. You really should not get upset. I'm just following from what I see in the notes. And you'll have your time to defend yourself. Eventually. But right now, what I want to talk about is how you are as a partner, as a lover. You seem like you'd be a very generous lover. Oh, he is sometimes. Well, you know, I really don't want to hear about what you think. Um, I know that I should be listening to the husband and wife, and I will get to the wife's side. 
But if you keep interrupting, does, does this happen in your marriage often? From these notes, I can see that um, she's not the best listener, is that right? Well, lucky for you, I'm a great listener. And I'd be happy to listen to you complain about your wife any day. It's a shame that she has to be in the room with us. Calm down. But I'm all ears. Or anything else you want me to be. All right, sure, let's... I'll talk to you too. Um, so can I ask, why do you act the way that you do? You have this wonderful specimen in front of you. Why don't you appreciate him more? Oh, you do appreciate him. You just feel like it's not reciprocated. Okay. I'll make a note of that. Crazy, delusional life, am I right? <laughs> mm. No, no, I'm just having a little private conference with your husband. Nothing to be concerned about. Where was I? So let's talk a little bit more about the nitty gritty of your relationship. Communication's great, but passion is more important. And you seem like a very, very passionate person. I can just tell that fire in your eyes is longing to come out and embrace someone. And you seem a little bit cold, like a cold dead fish. Are you like a cold dead fish? Listen, I'm just speaking with what I see, and what I see is not very impressive. And these notes that I've read are less impressive. So maybe we should talk about your, you know, your um, special marital relationship. How often do you two, you know, roll around in the hay to be um, politically correct, if that's the, if that's the right term? That's not a personal question. I, For once, I am a marriage counselor. My license, um, it's hanging up somewhere. You can't see it. It's, it's because my marriage license was printed on blue paper, so it kind of is camouflaged with the wall. Um, I can show it to you later. I can show you my credentials later. Um, in fact, if you want to see my credentials, you could always stay late at the office or... Maybe we can meet up at a bar, a nice smoky jazz bar, have a couple drinks and get to know each other better without the third wheel. Yes, I know that you're technically his wife for now, um, but according to these notes, I'm not sure how long you're going to stay that way, so can you just let me do my work? My marriage counseling work, of course. So out with it. How often do you two get down? Really, that's, I guess that's an okay number. I would say that if it were me that was your wife, well, that number would go up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh no, I'm not trying to shame you. Of course not. I'm sure you're super busy. You're probably a career woman. I can relate. I've had so many careers. I mean, I can barely hold on to one job. I mean, I, my, I'm so interested in working that I just am always getting new jobs because I'm so hireable. It's not that I'm fired or blacklisted or banned from certain industries. That That's just, that's crazy. You, your crazy wife again. <laughs> yeah, okay, well... So now that I know the frequency, can we, can I ask, um, you know, how much, how enjoyable are these sessions together? I mean, judging just by looking at her, I don't think they're very enjoyable for you. I'm sure you must be in heaven. I mean, anyone would be so lucky to be with you in any way, physical, emotional, mental, romantic. I know a lot about mental. Oh, yes, I do. Anyway, um, so obviously you're getting a lot of pleasure out of the deal, but I can't imagine you're satisfied, are you? Oh, that's not the issue with your relationship. Well, that's fine. That's fine, you know. You might think that you enjoy each other that way, but there's always room for improvement. I bet she just lays there like a cold, dead fish. You know, your wife kind of looks like a fish. I wouldn't be surprised if she had gills. Ma'am, do you have gills? There's no need to get upset. That is 
well, I can't show you these notes because they're confidential. They're confidential even from you, even from each other. Um, but yeah, I, there's a note here that says gills with a question mark. So I, I had to ask. I had to ask if you had gills. <laughs> Your wife is so sensitive. How do you deal with her? So have you two thought about divorce? Oh, you don't believe in divorce. Well, that's fair, I guess. Of course, if something were to happen to your wife, and suddenly you were a poor widower, oh, you poor thing, you would need someone to comfort you, wouldn't you? I'm great at comforting. I could make you so, so happy. Ma'am, this is a private conversation. Can you just mind your own business? I mean, there's a beautiful corner in there for you just to turn around and just face for a while. Oh, I understand. It's marriage counseling. It's not private sessions. You both want to be involved. If you need me to take care of your wife, let me know. I can get rid of her very easily. I have a lot of skills you might not know about, but I'd be happy to show you. No? Well, let's continue then. We've already established that she's a cold fish in bed and in life, um, in everything basically. And we've already established that you're wonderful and perfect and don't need to change a single thing, except for maybe your partner. But um, let's go a little deeper, okay? Oh yes. Let's talk about um, what would your idea partner be and don't hold back just because your you know cold fish wife is sitting next to you be be explicit yes okay breakfast in the morning oh, who wouldn't who wouldn't want breakfast in the morning I make great breakfast do you have a preference about blonde redhead brunette I, I've done all of them so okay really very good and what about style? I have a variety of styles. I mean, yes, I am talking about myself right now, but I'm just using myself as an example. I could say your wife could, you know, change her hair or her style or everything about her. But wouldn't it be easier just to find an ideal partner that's not your wife? I don't know why you both are getting upset. I mean... This is part of marriage counseling. You think that I'm here just to bring you all together, but I can't just put a band-aid over this huge wound that is your terrible relationship, okay? And it's not your fault, darling. No, you're perfect. It's all your fault. Basically, you're not appreciating this wonderful specimen you have. I don't know what you mean, unprofessional. I am the most professional of all the professionals. And it's important to dig deep and get down to the root of the problems. If we want to fix this marriage, there's only one solution. Get rid of your wife. Just get rid of her. Whatever you have to do, I'm, I'm happy to help you. No, ma'am, you don't, you don't need to call your previous counselor, okay? Where they are now, they can't answer a phone anyway. I think we all need to calm down. We're all getting a little heated, and of course it's normal that you would get a little heated and worked up um, in a meeting like this, you know, in, in an, a counseling session. That's normal. We want to let our emotions fly and speak our truths. And truthfully, you can tell me if you'd like to continue this in private. We can do a private counseling session, just you and me. Send your wife somewhere. No, you want her here? Are you sure you want her here? Is she holding you hostage? I know a lot about hostage situations, so you can let me know if she's keeping you captive. No, you, you want to work things out with her? With her, the fish? I mean, okay, if you're into scales, I guess that's your thing. Um, anyway, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I think, darling, that you're confused. And ma'am, I think you need to be quiet. I'm so tired of hearing you flap your little guppy mouth. Just shh, no more. No more from you, okay? This is his time to speak. You are on silent timeout. 
So where were we? Yes, you and me together. Leaving this office, burning it to the ground. I'm really good at lighting things on fire. I've had to burn a lot of places and a lot of bridges. But you and I could be so happy together. We would never need to go to any counseling. I would take care of you. And you would be mine. And only mine. And this, this thing next to you would not bother us. Oh no, she would be taken care of, I promise. Ma'am, fine. You know what? If you're so upset, you can leave. There's the door. I would love for you to leave. Go. Uh, You don't have to take your husband with you. You can stay with me. You don't have to go with your stupid wife. They're gone. Goodness. Well, I think that session went well. At least I have all their information, everything I need to know. I have a feeling that marriage is not going to (laughs) last.